Lenten greetings. I'm Bishop Rob Hirschfeld of the Episcopal Church in New Hampshire. Welcome to our weekly Lenten meditation. With these meditations, I invite you to continue your Lenten journey with the Church's ancient contemplative practice of reflection. I pray you might take just the next 10 minutes to to watch and listen, to write or draw, to just be still and know that God is doing something good and renewing in your life. May God draw you close to God's nourishing, hopeful presence in this holy season of preparation for a glorious Easter. Our reading this week is from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath, like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. By grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Jesus Christ for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. A quotation from spiritual director Samuel Raberg. These days I need the woods. I need to steal away from everyday pressures and quagmires to wander and wonder within creation. While I cannot quite wholly explain why this feels so natural and important, I am coming to appreciate that experiences in nature restore my perspective. In the woods I encounter touchstones signs of what is true and genuine that teach me how to remember and recognize the presence of the divine elsewhere. Reflect on those occasions when you have taken time to wander and wonder within creation.
What did you find yourself observing, hearing, feeling, or paying attention to? How did your times in nature help shift your outlook on your everyday experiences? What touchstones or signs of what is true and genuine did you encounter? You might want to sketch or journal about your discoveries. Give thanks as you feel led for those touchstones of the divine that you have encountered in nature or elsewhere. Let us pray. Almighty God, source of all mercies, as your love protected Jesus during his time of isolation and trial, may it also strengthen us. Help us to trust in your love's power to heal. Take away our pride and give us the courage to seek your way so that when this Lent is over, we might find ourselves renewed for the hard and holy work of living as one human family. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. This week's Lenten Reflection was written by Joan Bowers and read by Joe Rose. The prayer was written by the students and faculty at the School for Ministry, audio and video produced by Colin Chapman. This reflection is one of many formation resources found at nhepiscopal.org. We encourage you to share this with your friends on Facebook or even by word of mouth. Finally, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to be notified whenever more content is added to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash nhepiscopal.